here in Memphis, Tennessee, in the Whitehaven neighborhood. I'm like five minutes from the airport. You can almost hear it. And about 15 minutes from downtown. And I've been saying to everybody, listen, I'm coming to Memphis, been here a bunch of times. I want to try some, like, true Memphis food. They say, what do you mean, barbecue? I said, I don't know, something that just really represents Memphis. They said, oh, how about a place that's doing Memphis and Caribbean together? I said, that's my kind of place. This is Trap Fusion. Order up, jambalaya pasta. This place is the fire. You have your southern cuisine with a gourmet twist to it. I got a Cajun fish and grits. It's like a melting pot of everything. From best friends Jason Gardner and Markeith McCoy, who are pushing the limits on flavor. Trap Fusion, take risk and prosper. The fusion part comes from the being able to take recipes and just make them our own. And we travel the world and we eat. We Where do you eat. like to go? You name it, we probably California. It. Just left California, actually. Where were you? <laughs> we was in LA for Beyonce. Nice. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? We met in college, and we wrote a menu uh, about 15 years ago um, at his kitchen table. First, you're going to get a little hint of that Memphis smoke, and then we're going to take it and twist it a little bit to the Caribbean style. Lamb chops getting ready for grill top. Today, I had the jerk lamb chops. Jerk on lamb is definitely different. It was similar to a barbecue, and they were so good. This is how we start our lamb chops. We're rubbing it with the lime, man. We got those good and clean. We'll make our lamb marinade, water, Himalayan salt, black peppercorn, paprika, and onion powder. A little pureed garlic? Yes, okay. sir. Soy sauce, olive oil. Mix it up, add the rack of lamb. How long are we going to marinate these for? 24 hours. Next, we're going to make our lamb rub. Cayenne, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt again, garlic, rosemary, thyme. We're going to season the lamb on the sheet tray. Smoke these 275 for about four hours. Bring it back in, slice it. We're going to hold it for service. What's up next? Jerk marinade. This is going to be used in the jerk reduction. Got it. Green onions and thyme. Add a little water to that. With scotch bonnets. Olive oil. Allspice. Nutmeg. Okay. Black butcher peppercorn. The Himalayan salt. A little more soy sauce. Got it. All right, Beyonce, let me ask you this. OK, come on, Frosty yeah. Tips. <laughs> Maybe it's our band Frosty name. Tips. <laughs> Beyonce and Frosty Tips. All right, so what are we doing with this? This is going to be going into our jerk reduction. Got it. Orange juice, thyme, a little rosemary, onion powder, Caribbean seasoning, granulated garlic, brown sugar, a pinch of the fresh jerk marinade we just made, pimento berries, and then we'll simmer that for two to three minutes. And then we're good. Add the seared lamb chops, some of that jerk reduction. This is going to be played with cabbage, squash, and zucchini, garnished with parsley. Come on, Frosty Tills. There you go. Ooh, Frosty. <laughs> you got to put a ring on it. Ah, he got me again. Ugh. There's one thing that lamb's not missing, flavor. You have packed it in there, my friend. That's like 10 buddies going to one concert in a Honda. The smoke is great. Taste the lamb. You definitely know it's jerk. You definitely know it has smoke, but you're kind of like bringing three flavors all together to the center and you cooked them perfectly. That's a great dish. Jerk lamb chop? Oh, yes. It's very succulent and juicy. You can taste the smokiness, but it's not too over the top. They are the lamb gods. As soon as I come through the door, you can smell the flavor. Barbecue Jack, sweet potato fry, and a boss bang. You can just throw something together, and it just turns out perfect. Where'd you learn to cook all this? Man, I got a grandmother that can cook. I got a dad that's a grill master. OK, so you have special weapon of family culinary. Oh, absolutely. Oxtail plate. If you don't try the delicious oxtails, then you're missing out. It is huge pieces of meat with pigeon peas and rice. Oh, my goodness. All right, what are we into now, boss? Memphis and Caribbean oxtails. We've already washed these oxtails. Okay, a little bit of lime juice in there. Meat. Got it. Browning seasoning. Big Jamaican thing there. And then we're going to go straight into the saute to seal that flavor in. Ketchup, brown sugar, onion, Caribbean seasoning, trap steak seasoning, granulated garlic, black pepper, purple onion. Versus red. It look more purple to me. It, I agree with you. Peppers, cover that with water. Thyme, a sprig of rosemary, cover and simmer. About six hours. This is going to be served with some rice and peas. Start with some water, some brown rice. Why brown rice? We want you to eat stuff that you would normally eat, but we want it to be flavor time. You heard it. He's an ambassador. We're going to go in with a little Caribbean nutmeg, Cajun seasoning, allspice, kidney beans, coconut milk, and we're going to cook that for about 20, 25 minutes. And that's all she wrote. Gravy time. I'm going to start with a little butter, trap flour. It's flour, Cajun seasoning, black pepper, smoked paprika, all seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and we're going to whisk that up. Some onion, a little bell pepper, chicken broth. Bring that to a boil, let it simmer. That's going to tighten it up. Time to get down to Flavortown. 
Love me some oxtails. Put a little bit of that gravy on there. Now, are we calling this Jamaican oxtail? Memphis Caribbean. It's more southern. It's a good stewed oxtail, a good braised oxtail, with just a little kick of some Caribbean flavors. Not spicy, but perfectly cooked. And I love that you put a nice hard sear. The texture is one of my favorite things about these. And you got to cook it enough to render that fat and that connective tissue. Tender rice, good beans, seasoned perfectly. It's delicious. Oxtail plate. The flavor that he uses is just incredible, man. They fall right off the bone while you're eating them. A little Memphis love on there. Yes, this is insane. You know, it's bringing all types of flavor together, and it's just Memphis on a plate. Everybody's happy when they come in here and full when they leave. You believe in what you're cooking and the way you're doing it and the way you're offering it to people. It's great. I, I, I dig it, man. And keep an eye out. Beyonce and Frosted Tips going coming. live in Flavortown. We coming. <laughs>